I'm going to tell you like this. This is what's been helping me, and I hope it can help you too. This piece of information I received just through studies and research, there are four years of public health. Bachelors, Monroe College, New Rochelle, New York, Bronx, New York, second campus. But listen here, this is important. because This could really help us, this piece of knowledge right here. The reason why a lot of Americans pass away from diseases and infirmities is because of excessive, listening, excessive inflammation in their body and excessive mucus. Just like that, mucus and excessive inflammation are connected to a lot of the diseases and infirmities that people experience here in this world. The aftermath makes it more complex. That's why you have all these different drugs to treat your problem. But to prevent, you have to understand that whatever disease you have is probably caused by mucus. When mucus builds up, it causes problems in your circulatory system. It causes problems in your respiratory system. And that's how people get cancer when they when they have buildup, when they get uh, aneurysms. This is just a general statement here. I'm not a doctor. So don't take, take me up on it, okay? Don't be mad at me if you find some scientific article that says I'm wrong. There's articles out there that say I'm wrong and articles that say I'm right. But what's been helping me is what I'm sharing with you. The second thing, this is my baby right here. She know what's up, she know the deal. She has some venison today. That's a lean type of meat. It's very lean, less fat than beef. Similar to beef, but less fat. So it's really good for you. The second thing, inflammation that I was talking about. I've come to notice that a lot of Americans, a lot of us are faced with temptation of salt intake. A lot of sodium in almost everything we eat. And let me give you an example. If you're eating a Walmart TV dinner, and the thing has 1,200 calories, 1,200, ca not 1,200 calories, but 1,200 milligrams of sodium packed in there, it's terrible for you because one, there's no nutritional value. Now, the sodium, the sodium is really good to preserve the food, the frozen food and, and its packaging. That's why they put so much sodium in there. It's like back in the day. Hunters and gatherers, when we discovered salt, it was a wonderful thing because people were able to were able to preserve our meats for way longer. So what did we do? We killed the bull, chopped the meat off, and it didn't just serve us for two days, right? Whereas, like, you know, imagine that you could you didn't you didn't have a refrigerator, so you got to eat that shit on day one or day two, because day three or four, that, that thing is spoiled. You can't give that to your family. All the pesticides and maggots and everything that forms in it. So what we did when we discovered salt is that it will preserve the meat. So you take that meat, slice it up, and you pack it and, and store it with some salt. And that salt preserves it that way a week, two weeks, from the time of the hunt, you could go back and eat that thing and it'd still be fresh, right? So, but these days they're just excessively using sodium. We don't really need that much sodium in our diet. And what that does, sodium, it holds water. And what, what that does when your body's holding a lot of water, it's causing a lot of infl inflammation, a lot of water weight. This is why you see people with fat ankles and fat wrists, you know, not just pregnant people. Pregnant people experience it too, but you gotta give them credit. You know, they're, they're carrying a whole human in their body and um, things are a little different circumstances. But if you're just an average American with a nine to five and, and uh, you're getting enough money where you can put aside 
to eat quality meats, eat quality food, and go to the gym and work out, why not? Why not? Why not invest in your body, right? Right now, it's like LeBron James. I heard he invested a million dollars into his body, okay? So we don't have a million dollars to invest into our bodies right now, but hey, you can go and um, treat yourself to a quality meat, a leaner meat, you know, treat yourself to um, a healthier choice, really. I'm not gonna name any specifics here. I know some people are like, oh, I don't like that, I don't like this. No, there's a ton of healthier choices. You just have to have that knowledge on hand. We're stuck in, sometimes we're stuck in algorithms. And, you know, we, we see the four for four at Wendy's every day. We see it on our way from home. We see it on our way to work. And it's, it's there, it's our algorithm, it's our route. And so we're conditioned to just eating what's conveniently there, what's fast, what's tasty, you know? Hey, I've been through the fasting where I haven't ate or certain fast where I've cut out meats in my, in my diet, or let's call it live it, because I don't know why I call it diet. Let's call it live it. Um, yeah. But it just makes sense to me as like a businessman um, and, and making investments and stuff. It makes sense to invest in my body now than to pay the price 10, 15 years from now. Because at the rate we're going, the salt intake in all of our foods, the glucose, that's sugar, the glucose intake in all of our foods is literally setting us up to be on pills for high blood pressure, on pills for diabetes. And we're going at this life thinking, oh, you know, it's all right. You know, everyone dies in sun. No, okay, everyone dies. Yeah, but that doesn't mean go ahead and just say fuck it. It's like the person who just smokes cigarettes. like. That's cool and all, it's your thing. And you know deep down in your head that this shit is killing you. You're smoking on formaldehyde and all types of chemicals when your body is not a machine. So how could you think you'd be perfectly fine after such, after building such a habit over a numerous amount of years? Do you really think that? Anyways, that's how I feel about food where it's like, this is our body. This is our like temple and machine. And, and um, we need to take care of it. You know, you, you got to take care of your body. And that means drinking the best wines. You know, enough with the Henny. Like that, <laughs> that alcohol is specifically geared to tap into those, those parts in your brain that activate anger for some reason activates all type of aggressive emotions. You ever notice that? No? Okay. Maybe just me. But there, there are way better quality uh, tequilas out there. Gins out there. Now, I'm not even a heavy drinker, but I'm just saying, like, pay attention to what you intake all around same thing with the weed oh man this is a whole different topic we're gonna have to do a video on the weed that that we're being served these days because it's not ganja it's not that shit bob marley was smoking it was good like this is some this is some lab produced fucking addictive think back to the 80s this war on drugs shit the government was cracking down on no they were supplying those same drugs that they were cracking down on it was just an economy flow yeah bring the drugs from mexico bring it to america oh yeah they'll let in some people some some and then they knew the deliveries were coming in but then they would catch some people too to make it real like yeah we're cracking down at the border bullshit when those drugs hit 
touchdown in town. California, Florida, Chicago, New York. Those drugs touched down. That shit is being distributed again. They know the top drug dealers. But you see how American thinks? Like business people. This is a business country. This is not a compassionate country. Go to Singapore for that. Or wherever the fuck. South Africa. This country is about business. Even if that means we're going to turn a blind eye to all these drug transactions. Because somehow, some way, that comes right back into the American economy. The biggest drug dealers have the best cars. The best... Uh, the best parties that they hosted, right? The best clothes. All that goes right back into the economy. We love it. We love it. That's what they were saying. But meanwhile, the top drug dealer's thinking he's getting away with murder, but no, no way. I'm going to hold that right there and let you guys figure that whole story out before my shit gets banned or whatever. Because we came here to talk about your health. Inflammation and mucus is killing us these days, and they're not gonna tell us. They're gonna wait till we just indulge, indulge, indulge. Oh, an alcohol, an excessive amount of alcohol builds up glucose, and that's why people have diabetes. Trust me, that that alcohol, yeah, you could look that up too. Just uh, let me know in the comments if if I was wrong. Let me know. Let everyone know he's lying. Go ahead. But yeah, I'm pretty sure alcohol is uh, glucose based, and and uh, when it digests in your body, that glucose it stays there, <laughs> and it takes over. And you don't know the you know the feeling, but you know you don't know what your body's gone through. Your body's like, what the heck? Can I get some nutrition here? It's been weeks since I've since I've ingested a, a green leaf, a spinach, a salad. Some of us, some of us are, uh, like our bodies haven't even touched this type of vegetable fruit. What? You eat a, you eat a, um, a celery and you go sick because you're not used to it. It's not because you don't like it. It's because your body's not used to it. Your body loves it. Trust me. Why wouldn't your body love something that's going to enhance it? Think about that. A burger's not going to enhance it. You know, maybe a quality burger, Right? Something you, you pay like $25 for at some high-end restaurant, right? But, I mean, it's, it's fucking quality. You're not going to have to pay for it 10, 15 years down the line. Your insurance is going to pay your your um, medical bill. And then your, your medical bill is basically supporting the pharmaceuticals. And now pharmaceuticals are... Look at the pharmaceutical industry. They're probably like rich as fuck. Doctors, they're just in the way. They're the middlemen. That's literally what they are. They just verify that this person needs the drugs. So what else do you call them? You call them the middlemen. They're the drug dealer. I'm not a pop star. I'm a, I'm a doc. I'm not a doctor. I'm a pop star. That's what Drake said, right? I'm not just saying shit. He's saying shit. But yeah, anyways, I mean, that's how I feel. Inflammation and mucus. I challenge you guys. How do you prevent it from staying in your body? How? Let's talk about it. Hit the comments up. Let's talk about it. How can we prevent inflammation and mucus buildup? I told you guys one, which was reduce salt in intake. You guys let me know the rest. This is...